This is our 2013 C-Max from Ford. We bought this used four years ago as our towed vehicle. It's been a great towed, you know, towed meaning we tow it behind our RV. And uh, we decided we want to change our supplemental braking system to a ready brake. Now, it is not the goal of this video to show you how to install a ready brake. What I'm trying to do here is figure out how to get proper access to the firewall so that when I drill this hole, I know I'm going somewhere that's safe. So to begin with, I pulled back the carpet on the driver's side to get a reference point of where I wanted to hook up. Now, the ready brake, I think, should just connect in here. So ideally, if I could, if I can get access directly below it, I'll do that. So I've got the carpet pulled back. I cut back the, I'll call it underlayment for the lack of a better term, trying to get a reference point here where I want to put this hole. And this boot where the steering gear goes through is a good reference point. I think, you know, I'm going to be just a little bit below and to the left, maybe around where this, a little below this pinch weld here, where I'll try my, pil my pilot hole. So I need to know where that's going because this is a hybrid vehicle. I can't see, I couldn't see that point either from the hood, looking in through the hood or underneath the car because the subframe blocks it completely. I mean, I can't even get my fingers in there. So what I did is decided I'd pull off the driver's side wheel and I thought I was gonna have to pull off the inner fender, but I don't think I do. So in fact, I don't think pulling off the inner fender is gonna help me. So basically, I'll give you a reference point here where I'm looking. This may be hard to video, but I'm looking back here and up to the right, and I don't know if I can illuminate this enough for you to see it, but you can see where the steering gear comes down. This is tough to video, but that orange in the background, that's 300 volt. Uh, my understanding is anything wrapped in orange in this vehicle is 300 volts. So I'm sure going to stay away from that. So if you look kind of up center right, you'll see the back end of that gasket around the steering column. So I'm going to be coming out right below that towards towards the camera. So we should be well clear of that 300 that 300 volt wiring. So I think that's how I'm going to get it. Now I can't get my big fat hand in there but I just checked my wife is able to. So uh, she'll have to do the, the reaching through work here to be able to access that. So that's where I'm at. Well, I finished the ready brake and the ready stop. I finished installing those on the C-Max and I uh, thought I'd give you a quick tour of where everything goes. So I ended up mounting the ready brake up here where my wiring connection is. Uh, I do have a tow charge on this vehicle, although that was done several years ago, I put that on there. And the ready stop comes out over here on the driver's side. Base plate is the right term. Here my base plate. Now I have this zip tied here to try to dissuade anybody from yanking on that, which would be a serious inconvenience. Now, the only place, only reasonable place I could come up with to mount the ready stop is on my base plate, you know, over here. I mean, everybody's gonna have a different situation. They recommend you put it somewhere that's accessible. Well, there is nowhere on this car that's accessible and is, you can mount it on metal. You know, once everything's buttoned up, it's all covered in plastic. So I don't see any place to make it accessible. And I wanted to get something that was a reasonably straight shot that wouldn't interfere with things. This is the best I could come up with. So you can see this cable routes up over the top of this uh, mounting point. There's nothing in there that can cause any trouble. And uh, I'll show you where everything goes underneath here in a second. Okay, so I'll crawl around under the car here a little bit just to show you where I routed everything. Interestingly enough, I, you know, I decided the best place to bring this ready break cable up through was on just above this, I think it's the radiator mount. There's nothing but styrofoam in here for about a half an inch. 
So it was easy to push that through there and it's not interfering with anything. So then, you know, underneath that comes over and it, I have it zip tied to this frame member here. Probably won't be able to see it, but that ready stop cable is, is actually coming through. Where we can see it over here. Yeah, right here. It's actually coming through over here. So it's on the side of the side of the, uh, I assume that's the transfer case there. And it goes up along the side over to the wheel well. So let's move over the wheel well now. All right, so let's try to, let me try and show you where I routed everything. So here's the, the ready stop cable. You can see it's not interfering with anything. It's going up above and it actually ends up going behind this this frame member over here. The ready break cable is coming in down here on along this frame member. It goes underneath the drive shaft. It's it's right down, you know, along this frame member. It goes underneath the front of the sway bar, underneath the steering knuckle. I shouldn't call it the knuckle, but it's the steering gear. And if you look under there, I'm clear of the steering gear. I was a little worried about that, but I was able to zip strip that down and out of the way you can see the the ready stop is above all that and then when we kind of go in here now you can see the firewall so the ready brake is down below and the ready stop is going in just above lastly let me show you the inside of the car so got both cables coming up here this is the ready brake on the bottom it's the ready stop on the top. The ready stop has the loop that they call for, and they're both mounted here using this same plate that came with the ready brake itself. So, you know, I don't have any additional noise or interference, you know, when I'm pushing in the brake pedal. That all seems fine. And lastly, when the pedal is in its normal, let's call it upright position, the brake pedal that is, you notice here the ready brake is has just a little bit of slack on it. And then, you know, if I pull it, you know, I can hear the pedal inside the car being pulled. So I can pull it out about an inch. I don't know how far it would go if I were to push my foot on that brake pedal, but I'll have to make adjustments when I hook it up to the hitch itself to make sure that I'm not pulling it too hard. All right, now I really have it finished. Just in case anybody was panicked about it, I did put another bolt in there and I got that uh, Zerk fitting greased. So we're all set. Just my warning to anybody put, installing one of these, don't ever tighten those bolts because you, you can't snap them off. And I, I did that with that upper, upper one, you can see it there. But they supply four, I found another one. So I'm good. Okay, so I'm starting to button up the front end of the car now, but you can see where this where the base plate and the new connections are that I have. They're right, you know, right where the Roadmaster base plate's coming out through the lower grille. I had to trim just a little more to get clearance for that. And likewise, right here, I had to trim just a little bit more to get clearance for that. But otherwise, it pretty much looks the same as, as before. I always tuck this, I always tuck that in there when I'm not using it to make it look a little less obvious. So I think overall, you know, it's not that, that uh, obtrusive. All right, well, that's it for this install.